Guess who's back, 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 back again, again, again. Nick is back, back, back. Tell a friend. Hello, welcome back. I am finally back making YouTube videos. I'm going to try and get maybe two out per week. I took the break to sort of shine a light more on Black Lives Matter. I didn't think it was the right time to just start making more YouTube videos on the lease when that's not as important as some of the other issues in the world right now. So I thought I would take a break, learn more. I recorded a podcast with Tic Tac Tomar. If you want to see that, I'll leave it in the link down below in the description. We talked a lot about Black Lives Matter. We talked about how he feels about it in hockey, just in life in general, and it was a great talk. And if you want to see that or hear it, not see it, if you want to hear it, I'll put a link down below and you can listen to it. I also will be coming out with more podcasts in the future, so make sure you stay tuned. You'll find out the name. You'll find out everything else. It will be awesome. And also, one more thing. Happy Pride to all the LGBTQ community out there, to everyone. It's June. I haven't made a video yet, so I'm going to make this one. Pride, I got my pink headband. I got a blue shirt. That's the most rainbow I could get in my clothing, so... <laughs> I don't have a rainbow flag. I should probably maybe get one, but yeah, happy pride to everyone out there. Let's get into today's video. Actually, one more thing. You might be asking, hey, Nick, what have you been doing throughout the break? What have you been doing to keep yourself sane? Well, I'm going to show you. I got, first of all, I got the coloring cups. Look at that. It goes from red to dark red. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. I got also, I got tennis. I've been playing tennis. That's why I got the headbands too. I've been taking it. I've been hitting it. I've been swinging. I've been nice drop shot. Also, I've been doing that. I also may have something in the works with this person. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens there. But today's video is not about Martin Marinson. Okay, it might be a little bit about Martin Marinson, but today's video, today's video is going to be a Q&A. So right before I hit 250 subscribers, a subscriber told me, I'm out of breath, sorry. Subscriber told me, hey, why don't you do a 250 subscriber Q&A? So I thought about that. And when I went on the break, I said, okay, you know what? We're gonna do that. Now we're at 293 subscribers. That was a really big jump. And I wanna thank you all for the support on that. I really appreciate it. But now it's the video of a Q&A. I got a lot of questions. So we're gonna talk through it, we're gonna get through it, and we are going to have a lot of fun. So let's go into the questions, and let's see if I can answer them all really well. Question number one. Maybe the biggest argument I've ever had on Twitter, and it's about cake. If you don't know about me, I'm a cake connoisseur. I know which cake is good, I know which cake is bad. I also know which cake is cake and which cake is not cake, like cheesecake. Cheesecake is not a cake. And if you wanna have the discussion with me, we'll talk about it. I'll, I'll call, now I'm not gonna call you, tweet at me. If you wanna have that discussion about cheesecake not being cake, I'll show you why. And a lot of people will too. So speaking of cake, the first question is from Chris. And his question is, is ice cream cake cake? No, it is not. That is not a cake. That is ice cream with a little bit of chocolate in the middle. There is just a little bit of icing on that just to make it a cake. It's not a cake, okay? That's, it's ice cream. It's literally ice cream. You go, where do you go to buy cake? You go to a bakery. Where do you go to buy ice cream cake? You go to Dairy Queen. It is not cake. Wow, I've got a lot of energy at 10.45 a.m. in the morning. Let's get to the next question. From Mike Bannock. Why haven't you seen Lord of the Rings yet? Well, I'm not, never going to watch that movie because they're like three hours long. I'd rather spend my time doing something else. I've already wasted my time watching all these Star Wars episodes. I'm not gonna watch Lord of the Rings. I'm not gonna watch Star Trek. I don't even know if I'm gonna watch Harry Potter ever in my life. I probably will watch Harry Potter because that's, that's one good one. But Lord of the Rings, I don't know. But I can do a nice Golem impression. Precious, 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 my precious ring. Okay, we're actually, we're gonna move on. I'm never gonna do that again. From Shelby, favorite San Jose shark, past or present? Well, the only one that I can think of who I've liked, it's Patrick Marlowe. Patrick Marlowe's a great, amazing, one of the best San Jose sharks out there. He came to the Leafs, 
he groomed Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner to become great people and great players. But there is one other player, one player in particular, who could actually be a Toronto Maple Leaf next year. And that is Joe Thornton. I know he might not want to play on San Jose and not win a Stanley Cup, so why not come home to the Toronto Maple Leafs, the team he probably grew up watching, and win the Stanley Cup with them? Joe Thornton, that's my favorite player, and that's why I think he's the best player on the San Jose Sharks, maybe ever. Shelby, seriously, think about it. Stanley Cup, Joe Thornton, Toronto Maple Leafs. Doesn't that sound amazing? From Ali Nasir, I think that's how you say your last name. If it's not, I apologize. Will you ever buy a Cody CC jersey? No, no, you know why I'm not gonna buy a Cody CC jersey? Because he's not re-signed next year. There's no, if you're not re-signed, I'm not buying your jersey. That's why I bought Martin Marinson's, because he's re-signed and he probably will get re-signed again. From Spence, when do you think Martin Marinson gets inducted to the Hall of Fame? Well, I think if he can go on the trend, of scoring a very nice highlight reel goal for the next two, three, or four years with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Well, I think he's got a shot in maybe six or seven years to get inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame. Maybe I'll bring his jersey and I'll set it in there. Maybe I'll hide it somewhere because I I don't know if he'll actually get there. Probably, probably, I, you never know. You never know. He might just turn into a Norris winning defenseman next season. We don't know. But it could, I'm saying seven or eight years. And if that does happen, I'll be proud to say that I am the first owner of a Martin Marinson jersey before anyone else other than his family and maybe a few others. So that makes me proud. From Desmond Paul, trade the first overall pick for Alex Nylander. Yeah, that's a great idea. William and Alex can bond. They could be a great pairing on the Toronto Maple Leafs and then we can win the Stanley Cup. What's better, that? Or Alexis Lafreniere. <laughs> I don't know. Obviously, Alex Nylander. Alex Nylander would be great alongside William. So, William and Alex would be the dream team. So, do that. No, we don't do that, actually. We draft Alexis Lafreniere if that happens. If the Leafs don't get by Columbus. I don't know what I want in life. From Thorne, if you own one Martin Marinson jersey, shouldn't you own 47 Austin Matthews jerseys? No, no. Why would I want... Austin Matthews jerseys, when I could have a coveted, possibly signed one day, Martin Marinson one, when everyone else has an Austin Matthews jersey. You walk into Scotiabank Arena during the Leaf game, you will see maybe 10, 20, 30 Matthews jerseys. How many Martin Marinson jerseys will see? None. You'll see none. And when you see a Martin Marinson jersey in the Scotiabank Arena, it'll be me. So you can say hi, you can say hello, I'll say hi back, show you my jersey. And it'll be awesome, but no, I not I don't plan on buying an Austin Matthews jersey unless I could buy every Leafs jersey that I could. From Alec, waffles or pancakes? Pancakes, because waffles are actually I don't know. That's a that old Belgian waffles or pancakes. Ah, okay. This is a hard one. Um, I don't know. Waffles are amazing. Pancakes are amazing. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I genuinely don't know. I'm gonna say I was gonna try and say waff cakes, but waff, waff cakes. Waff cakes. Waff cakes. That's my answer. Waff cakes. From Uzman Kazi. I'm sorry if I butchered your name, but they ask what number will Lafreniere wear if Hyman keeps 11? That's a good question. That's actually a very good question. I don't know. I, I tried to find out if Lafreniere had any other numbers in his career, I couldn't find it. So we'd have an interesting debate here. I think, I don't know, maybe 77? Obviously not 52. Maybe 53. 53 or 51. Actually not 51 because that's Jake Gardner's number. Maybe, I don't know. 77 because that's my favorite number other than 97. 77. It's a very lucky number. From Michael. COD, Warzone, or Fortnite? Do you really think you want to ask that question, Michael? Warzone or Fortnite? It's Fortnite. Because Warzone is too freaking long and it's too hard. You, it's so hard to get a win in that game. Fortnite, you just camp around for the whole game and then you get a win. No, no. Warzone, it's also way too big for my Xbox. I, I can't handle that much gigabytes there. So... 
Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite. From days 3232, two, what are your thoughts on a trade surrounding Kasperi Kapanen and Matt Roy? I don't... As much as I've heard a lot about Matt Roy, it's... I don't think that'd be a viable option for the Leafs to go for right now. It's not... It's not really worth it. Kasperi Kapanen is good. And you're trading him for a prospect of Matt Roy when the Leafs have other prospects in the ranks and it's... I, I don't... I don't think it's... I don't think it's plausible. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's a time. And also, I think Matt Roy is a prospect of the LA Kings. I don't know if they're ready to give him up. So I say, I say no, that's not worth it. I don't think Dubas will go down on that road and I don't think he should. Speaking of Kyle Dubas, one of the last questions from Gordon Bombay, pros and cons of Kyle Dubas. Now, I don't know if I'd say there are any cons because he's a great, amazing GM, great guy. He does everything to support the LGBTQ community, he supports everything else. He's an overall great person and he's young, he's young minded, he knows he has new things to do in the NHL as a GM. He has different paths to go down rather than just playing one type of hockey. He has very good insight on things and I don't know if there's any cons. Maybe uh, a con would be that I was going to say an overpay on Mitch Marner or Austin Matthews, but it, it, it is what it is at this point. I don't think there is one con I could say about Kyle Dubas. Maybe maybe just to be able to go down there when they have a bad game and Sheldon Keith can yell. And maybe Kyle Dubas will go down there and yell too. But other than that, he's a great GM. I'm proud to have him as a GM. I hope he's a GM for the Toronto Maple Leafs for a long time. And I'm happy with him. But that is the end of the Q&A. If you did enjoy it and you want to see another one, maybe soon. I like doing these. I like when people ask me questions, I can answer them. If you want to ask other questions as well, like how old were you when you did this? Or something, something, blah, blah, blah. Like something along the lines of learning about my life. That'd be awesome too. If you want to see another one of those, let me know in the comment section down below. Tweet at me, at Nick Barden. Follow me on Instagram too, if you don't, at Nick Barden as well. It's all the same, at Nick Barden. So, if you want to do that, do all that fun stuff. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed the video, you've made it this far, leave a like and also subscribe. We're almost at 300 subscribers. That's going to be great when I hit that. And then we'll go from there. And if you did enjoy it again, also, I want to know one thing. I want to know one thing before we actually go out of the video. Do you think the Leafs will get Alexis Lafreniere? Do you think they will get the first pick? And also, what one would you rather have? The first overall pick? or the Stanley Cup during a pandemic. Which one? Which one? Let me know in the comment section down below. Maybe I'll make that my next video. So, thank you so much for watching. Happy Pride. Go Leafs go when they come back. I think it's gonna start July 10th training camp. So we'll see where it goes. The hub cities are gonna be announced soon, possibly today if when I'm recording this video. So who knows? But again, thank you so much for watching. Happy Pride. Go Leafs go. And also again, Black Lives Matter. <laughs>